everybody. Welcome to my channel, A Mom's Journey. I'm Sharon Michelle. And I am 43 days post tummy tuck. But I am not coming to y'all about that today. I know y'all haven't seen me in a minute or whatever. But as the captions will tell you, I have COVID. <sighs> yeah, I have COVID. Now, I've been home in Philadelphia since March the 17th. My surgery was March the 10th. So, y'all, I'm a bit tired of being in the house. <clears throat> and um, you figure, how the heck you get COVID and you ain't going nowhere? And this is where the timeline comes in. And I'm really confused about when a person is contagious, when is the onset, how long does it last? These are things that we really need some specifics about. And I say that because we didn't pinpoint it back of where we possibly think exposure came from. Y'all see me, I only go, I go get my massages, I come back, I have my gloves on, my sanitizer, my mask. I've been doing everything I'm supposed to do. <clears throat> so... We're going to go a timeline back on. I'm looking at the paper because I wrote everything down. Saturday, April 10th, my daughter went out. And she went with her girlfriends. Today is April 22nd. So on Saturday, April 10th, she went out to eat with her girlfriends. And you know you only take off your mask um, when you're eating. Now, her girlfriend had um had covid prior but she didn't go out the house until she had her new negative result so she was walking around in her phone with the um what do you call that thing uh project baseline that will tell you if you're negative positive or whatever and of course it has that negative <clears throat> so at this point we didn't know um on Wednesday, April the 14th. Sorry about that, y'all. Um, I was saying Wednesday, April 14th, when I was on Bible study, I know I went to answer a question or something. And my voice was like real scratchy. And I was like, <coughs> like, what? You know, I ain't know what was going on. I was just like, oh, well, my voice is cracking a little bit and then i woke up on thursday the 15th and i just didn't feel good um i was treating myself for a cold my son i thought he had a cold so i was giving him alka cold plus service my daughter you know we all was taking cold medicine just thinking we had colds and um friday morning i remember making some bacon and eggs and i was like that didn't taste too good I didn't even realize I didn't taste it. That was a thing, but it didn't even dawn on me. On Saturday, um, we got the 17th. Um, my daughter went somewhere, and then she ended up driving herself to Chestnut Hill Hospital with chest pains. And, I mean, she said they was excruciating. She was pulling her clothes off. She was getting hot. She pulled up at the front the emergency door or whatever and um long story short she thought she had chest pain. she told them she had chest pains and stuff and she when i finally got in touch with her i was thinking did it hurt to touch i heard her say her back was hurting so i knew it wasn't heart related i figured it was muscular she did send me um a screenshot of her magnesium report so, um, apparently when you have COVID, your magnesium is extremely low, but they let her go home and they didn't even tell her right away. I was her emergency contact and a doctor called me to tell me that she was, um, got, was tested positive for COVID. So at that time I said, oh man, that means we all got to get tested. Cause I told her we all been sick. And she said to me, well, you don't have to get tested unless you need a note for your job or something. And, um, you know, but of course, I still wanted to know for ourselves. So when my daughter came home, she, um, you know, she was like, I'll be up in a second. I'm like, well, I know you got COVID. She said, no, I don't. I'm like, yeah, the doctor just called and told me. 
And so then it popped up on her um, patient portal. So that's how we knew. So we immediately went to get tested. And our diagnosis actually came back on the 19th of April, Monday to pass. But um, at that point, we knew. I knew I didn't have no taste, no smell, um, burning in the back of my nose, get the migraine headaches, um, the body aches and stuff. But like I said, I thank God it could be a whole lot worse because you, you hear people that don't make it, people that's been in comas. You got people that have underlying um, illnesses that, you know, it really messes them up. So, you know, I'm not complaining at all. I'm just tired of being in the house. I'm tired of um, feeling like this. Um, I try to make COVID look good, but at the end of the day, <clears throat> you basically, um, for me, waking up in the morning is the worst part. Like I said, because you wake up and in, like in the back of your nose, it, like in between your eyes and your nose, it just feels like infection or something. But like I said, it burns and then it makes me get migraines or whatever. But it's nothing you can really do except, you know, drink lots and lots of fluids. And um, we still do take, um, I take cold medicine just to kind of keep the symptoms down. They gave my daughter, um, I think they gave her antibiotic when she was in the hospital just to be on the safe side. And then they told her to take ibuprofen and, um, and uh, Tylenol. And so, um, but basically, you know, that's it. But I just tell everybody, be careful. Um, people think COVID is gone. People are dropping their guards. There's different places that have dropped the, the mask mandate. Um, all of that. It is not going. It's not, a, or it's not going to be going for a very long time. Um, my mom went and got her vaccine. And she was telling me that after the second one, I mean, some people are okay. She broke out in a rash on her chest and her arms, and, and her arm got real heavy or whatever. So, I mean, one way or the other, you got to go through um, something one way or the other. But understand, this is not over with, and it's going to be a long time before it's over with. So, just keep spreading awareness and, um, you know, try to protect... If you're not worried about yourself, just try to protect other people. And um, you wearing your mask and sanitizing and stuff, you know, it's trying to help somebody else from catching it. So, um, you know, that's that's basically it. Um, other than that, the, with the tummy tuck, I'm doing great. As I said, it's 43 days later. Um, I, I'm, I've come a long way. Um, I told y'all, I you know, you swell for a very long time, but... I didn't swell as much as most people could have. Um, I am, well, I was a 48 waist. Like, that's big, y'all. And y'all saw the pictures um, before. And um, I was a 48 waist. Um, after surgery, I went down to a 33. I'm in my stage 2 high. And um, my measurements as of yesterday, my waist is now 31. I am waist training now. And waist trainer just means, you know, you wear your waist trainer. Um, I wear mine probably 20, at least 20 hours during the day. I take everything off, shower, um, stay out of maybe two hours. Um, everybody knows that um, I shared my story years ago. I was 301 pounds. Had gastric bypass, went up and down 20 pounds. Um, wound up having a surgery three years ago because the sta staple stitches, something opened up, gained a whole lot of weight. So as of last year, before COVID, I went up to 231. When I decided to get the surgery, um, I was told I had to go down to 220. Day of surgery, I was um, 198, I think, or 199. And today I'm 190. So I'm doing great. And um, I'm going to let y'all see what I look like. All right, so my little area in the back, y'all know where I'll be chilling at. So I told you I'll be waist training. And you can see I'm waist training. This is the Keisha K. You wore um, waist back. 
And then this is my 360 ad board. As you can see, 360 ad board. Um, and I like putting these on because y'all can see, oh, this Velcro ain't no joke. Y'all can see that these are the tights that I had on prior. Um, and the cut that I'm going to put above there. All right. You can see my waist has slimmed up a whole lot on the side. And you can see it's a little swelling right in here. But all in all, this is the um, stage two high And it just, it keeps you snug. And um, as you can see. So I kind of wear this um, garment, my compression garment. Most of you know, the time I switch out um, to the three that I have. And um, you know, I'll show y'all my scar on another day, um, I am at the at this point um, doing scar therapy. Um, once your incisions close up, you use a silicone tape, and the silicone tape is just basically straight across. And my scar looks good. I mean, it's fading into my skin. Uh, my belly button is healing little by little. Like I guess I've never seen the belly button. I don't know how many years, and so now that's um, doing good. And so that's it. You know, that's what I'm looking like. Um, I will come back uh, when I do my two month post op. Um, that's when I'm going to really show and probably do some um, clothing try ons and stuff like that. People, I tell them, you don't, this is not a weight loss surgery at all. Of course, it takes off the inches from around here and. You know my thighs my hips all that stuff it basically would be the same unless i lose weight and i did lose um i have lost inches everywhere because i've taken measurements everywhere so i have lost inches everywhere but that was just um after the swelling came you know went away and um you know my taste buds i'm not, not that i don't eat that much um, but I'm doing good. And like I said, I'm still swollen. So I'm probably s even smaller, um, than normal. Now, when I put on my jeans and stuff like that, my jeans fit, but of course back in here, the jeans will sit out way out and everything. And, um, so I got to get my clothes tapered and tailored a little more, but in October I'm having a thigh surgery and that will then even me out. So, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed. I ask that you would subscribe to my channel, share my page, share. Um, go look at some of my other ones. And um, for people that is getting surgery, thinking about getting surgery, whatever. And, um, you know, hope that it helps you out. All right. But like I said, like, subscribe, share my page. Have a good one, y'all.